Alright, so we're gonna be trying to kill this dwarf over here. His name is Mortis. Uh, he's been giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, he's got a bunch of allies in the area. He's mind controlling them. Uh, there's like four, three or four of them. Uh, Are you not required? I would feast on you, slaves. He also has this ability when uh, you, one of my party members dies, he basically eats their soul and I will turns find into a, a way to possibly hard beast. So basically what the goal is, is to kill him first and quick before any of my play people can die. Um, and uh, these guys should get released when he dies. Completing the here. ritual of Mordecai. He's level 12. My I think Lord my character is level 11, me. so he's level higher. Um, I did find out he's undead, so I've kind of been using heals in my attacking because I seems to do pretty good damage. Reaper's coast will he also gets healed from poison because of his poison my resistance. Power will be complete. So it's a pretty hard fight. Um, basically, this guy works in contract with another dwarf, and he's doing all kinds of shady stuff down here. So. We are going to take care of business. Um, I'm going to leave this guy out in the back here. He usually comes in and rushes, but I want to do a teleport and swap him out with this guy to keep him away from all the allies around here because they just ruin everything. Um, let's see if I can get in a sneak attack. Guys, I can't really sneak around here because of these guys, so let's, uh, let's just walk up this enemy. You made it all the way here, you creeping little maggots. Have you wriggled up to bow to me? Has Lohar sent you to beg forgiveness for his sins? Well, that was the guy, the other dwarf that My Lord beef with had this guy. faith. He came to me when Lohar failed the queen. And as a reward for my service, he has granted me his favor. He has granted me Mord Ake. Betraying the dwarves? Oh, you poor sniveling idiots. You'll see. You'll see my lord's brilliance. Not in this life, but perhaps the next. <laughs> Further away, right? So, I'm gonna do another swap. 
swap out him for her. I'll yield to none. And since he doesn't have any armor, we can knock him down. So we're gonna do a charge. The master sorcerer throws up his popped, cracked arms to defend himself as you step forward. The undead dwarf looks quickly over its shoulder, his gaze darting from shadow to shadow. Of course! Of course! Anything! Just name it! That is what I'm trying to do here. What? Source? The skeleton slowly lowers his arms, staring at you in disbelief. Of course! You're Godwoken! You seek power! Ultimate power! <laughs> and I'm worried we could not find common ground. Yes, Godwoken, I can teach you. If you swear, you won't banish me to the afterlife. Please be very well, Godwoken. Listen carefully. Source and void, day and night, love and hate. One is meaningless without the other. To grow your source, to achieve your potential, you must embrace the void. 
the grinning skeleton reaches into the folds of his robes and pulls out a small black mass. It's covered in veins and oozing pus. Here, Godwoken. Take a bite. The thick pus explodes into your mouth, coating the back of your throat. You can feel it running down your throat like rancid custard. Ugh, that description. You start to retch, your body struggling to reject this intruder. But your teeth clamp down hard on the fibrous, gritty flesh as you force yourself to chew and swallow. Deep within you, you feel something change. Your soul opens up, and you feel it swell as new channels for source start to flow through you. You swallow all you can, and despite the meat in your stomach, you feel a new space inside you, a potential waiting to be filled. There, I held up my end of the bargain. I did as you asked, and now I'm getting as far from this cave as my bones will take me. As he turns away, the skeleton hesitates. He turns back to you, thrusting a golden amulet into your hand. Take this, and buy passage on a boat that will take you far, far away, Godwoken. His eye is on you, and I don't want to be anywhere near you when he blinks. With a last suspicious look, Mordus hunches over and hurries away. someone with uh, some tips on getting him killed uh, I was honestly expecting to lose that with two people dead because his next turn he should have gone bananas but GG guys